armed soldiers patrol this Ukrainian marine base in Kesh on the eastern tip of Crimea. Although they bear no national insignia, all indications are that they're Russian. But Moscow has denied reports that it issued an ultimatum for Ukrainian forces to surrender. A spokesman for the Black Sea Fleet rejected the reports as nonsense. The U.S. concedes that Kiev has lost control of the peninsula. Ukrainian soldiers stationed there are hopelessly outnumbered, but they hope for the best. I don't believe there'll be a war. I hope the politicians will reach an agreement. There are similar images in Crimea's regional capital, where troops believed to be Russian have taken control of several key locations, including government buildings. The new Ukrainian government says it won't give up Crimea. Western leaders see the escalation as a power grab by an emboldened Kremlin and have condemned it as 19th century imperialist behavior. It's always the same with the Russians. They consider that countries which belong to their empire at one point or another should remain under their control. British Foreign Minister William Hague traveled to Kiev in hopes of diffusing the tension. He laid flowers at Independence Square in tribute to the protesters killed there. He referred to the biggest crisis facing Europe this century, but ruled out military options. A diplomatic solution to the standoff is something these people would welcome. They're relatives of Ukrainian soldiers in Crimea. We're worried that some careless word, move or a gunshot from a madman will start something terrible. Foreign policy analysts say this is the biggest test of global diplomacy since the end of the Cold War.